Yeah, look, I think we've got a strong team. It's a little bit different to, to last year. I think everyone probably learned a few lessons. Uh, you know, being the first year last, last year was, uh, was tough on everyone. No one really knew how to go about a draft. So I think there's more preparation this time around. So I'm very happy with our squad that we got. I think we cover all angles. It's a strong team on paper, but you don't win a competition on paper. Uh, you win it on the field. So now's the time we've got, we've got to try and gel together as a team, get a bit of momentum in the first part of the tournament. And I think the team that does that uh, earlier will be the teams that are going to be competing in the final stages. Yeah, look, I think Klaas, has been a captain in this part of the world. He knows his conditions very well. I know AB was captain last season. I just didn't want the burden on AB. You know, I prefer AB just go out and be AB de Villiers. If he can be AB de Villiers, he wins a lot of games. So, you know, I don't, didn't want him to carry that extra burden of being captain. As well as, I think, Klaas, has uh, got a very good cr cricket brain. You know, apart from Bologna, he's our vice captain as well. So the two of them together, uh, they're good, good friends as well. So they, they've got great channels of communication. And they've got a lot of experience around them as well. You know, guys like Roof, uh, Mornay, AB as well. So. There's a lot of experience around. It's just how you channel it in the right in the right sort of way. And there's a lot of games in between these guys to, to make the right calls at the right time. Yeah, obviously it's a big honour for me. It's nice to get the backing from our local franchise as well. So it's good to be back home, to be honest. And I'm looking forward to working with a bunch of good experienced cricketers and some quality youngsters as well. Excited what the guys bring to the table. We had our first training session today in the Vibe in the team has been very good so far, so we've got a nice little braai, get to know each other a little bit better um, this afternoon, so just to get the chemistry going. So I'm looking forward to leading this team, especially in the first game. I think 80% of our team has been playing around the world, play a lot of international cricket as well. So there's a lot of knowledge that I would definitely want to use, I'm going to try to tap into their brains and what they've learned from their previous captains and those things, so it's a good learning experience for me as well. And especially for all the youngsters, I think there's a lot to learn from our senior players, as we call them, the older guys that's got a lot of experience. So, and for the older players, the young blood that's coming through, there's new ideas that will definitely float around. We're all equal if we walk over that field, so all the ideas, new or old, definitely will be an impact, especially in my captaincy. I like to listen to everyone because I'm not perfect, so it's always a different viewing from someone else's side. So definitely I'm going to encourage you guys to speak up. For me it's just to make the easy budding changes, the rest everyone needs to take responsibility for, the, for their own performances. I'm excited to be back, I'm excited for the new season, for the new MSL. I mean T20 cricket is exciting so it's always a fun time to come out in the field, play with a white ball and it's always a great time so we're looking forward to it a lot. What I took in from last year was to be calm under pressure I think, the pressure situations that I was in, I actually learnt a lot from that and how to just slow the game down in my mind and just to try slow things down when it's a high pressure situation so I learned a lot from that last year and yeah coming out this year um, I really want to um, just keep on contributing to the team making sure that the team plays well and we go forward and just trying to put in performances that help the team win and so uh, we can advance and get closer to those playoff stages so yeah, looking forward to it a lot and hopefully it's great yeah it's gonna be very good I think I'm looking forward to the opportunity I mean I've never played with Mone in a team before, so I'm looking to make sure that I learn a lot from him. I mean, I'm sure he's got his ideas and different methods of doing things, so I really want to pick into his brain and learn what he does differently, which maybe helps him in the game. And yeah, with Tom Curran as well, I mean, he's an international World Cup winner. So, I mean, he's been there, he's been in the big situation. So, feeding off their energies, feeding off their knowledge will help me a lot with my game personally and just looking forward to how things might turn out, so yeah. Very excited. Followed it last year quite closely. Uh, I was quite sad to, to not be part of it. But um, yeah, it's very special to, to play for the Spartans. This is where sort of my trade uh, started 12, 13 years ago. Super excited for it to start. Obviously, watching it last year, you know, it, was, it was a fantastic standard. So you know, for me, it, I'm looking forward to compete you know, against uh, quality players. You know, first of all, hopefully I can you know, produce the goods on the field. But uh, most importantly for me, you know, is to, to grow, you know, the youngsters and help them to work out, you know, game plans. We've got a, a World Cup that's around the corner. You know, if I can, can, can help these guys sort of with their plans and, you know, help them to develop in a small way for me, that will be a massive victory. Yeah, very excited. We have a very strong squad this year. Some new faces, um, some old locals that are back here in Pretoria, um, which is great. So it will help for the experience under pressure. Yeah, I'm just very excited to get going. We've got a nice week of build-up now and then Saturday we face the Heat in Durban. 
It'll be a game full of heat. Hopefully we'll bring it to them. I think ultimately you want to you bring crowds to the grounds and you can only do that by the way you play and by the way you enjoy the game out there. And I think the Springboks obviously achieved that now in, in Japan. The way they played with smiles on their faces, with a no fear attitude, with never say die attitude, typical South African fashion, that's drawing people to the game. And, and we need to do a similar thing in cricket. The way I play as an experienced South African I've got to play in a way to, that's got to inspire youngsters to want to do the same one day and want to come watch us play. So I think that's, that's our responsibility as cricketers, um, especially in this MSL tournament. His agent actually gave me a message with a couple of videos. So he is a bit of an unknown, but I think that's exciting in itself. If we don't know too much about him and he's in our team, then other teams won't know too much about him as well. So look, I, you know, he's, he's still very young. Um, he hasn't played in these conditions before, so I think we need to give him a bit of time to uh, settle himself. And then hopefully in the, in the latter part of, of the competition, he can come and uh, spin us a game, spin us to, to victory. Um, as he plays more cricket in these conditions, he'll learn more about what he needs to do, lines that he needs to bowl lengths, pace and all that type of stuff. So we'll give him a bit of time to get into it. And uh, hopefully one or two of our senior players can help along the way. All the teams are pretty strong. It's about trying to get our guys to, to gel together at the moment and uh, get a bit of form and hopefully take that into the first game. I do believe that, you know, probably like every other team, that uh, if we can have a good game as a unit, we've got all the angles covered in, in, in every department to go out there and win every game. Um, so if we can play at 100%, we believe we've got the right team to, to win any game. So that's what we're focusing on at the moment. Come the latter stages of the tournament, we might have to be a little more smarter with, with the way we go around about things. But at this stage, it's just trying to gel these guys together now um, in the build-up to the whole game.